Let's get into some rigging on the backcast. There's a great description from Happy Naguyan of Good Water Fly Fishing on the rigging he uses on Puta Creek, which is a fishery there in Northern California. I love the detail that he goes through here and it kind of gets you thinking on maybe some of the things that you might want to use in your own rigging, so take a look. So the, from the fly line, I've got a loop to loop connection to a 30 piece, um, a 30 pound piece of monofilament, which kind of acts as, my, acts as my butt section. And then from my butt section, it's about, you know, the butt section is about three to four inches um, down to my actual leader, which is about nine feet of 15 pound mono. Um, a lot of people do it differently. What I like to do is I just like to have one piece of um, pre-built mono. That way there's not too many knots in it so that when you're fighting a fish, it doesn't you know, rub against your guides or uh, get caught in your guides. So you just kind of have a smoother connection there or a smoother run of line through your guides. And then from, so from, from my leader down to my tippet, I am connecting the two by a swivel. So what the swivel does, I like to use the swivel because it, one, it acts as a stopper for my split shot so my split shot doesn't eventually slide down to my flies which happens a lot, uh, often if you're not using uh, a split shot or a tippet ring. Um, and then another reason is so that that, um, that swivel will help my flies spin in the water. And also um, it, it helps with the longevity of my leader. But yeah, so the swivel also acts as kind of just um, a pivoting point so that your leader doesn't twist on itself and eventually twist up to the fly line and damage in your fly line. So depending on the time and year and water clarity and flow of this creek, um, I'll use anywhere from 4x to 6x tippet um, and sometimes even 7 if the fish are really picky uh, but that makes it for um, a pretty technical um, it makes it pretty technical because if you hook into a big fish you're going to really have to take your time to, to fight that fish but uh, because this river gets so much pressure um, and these fish have probably seen every fly and every presentation there possible um, the more you can get away with the better. Um, so I like to fish with, you know, 3x or 4x to 6x, and then between each flies, I'm anywhere from, you know, 8 to 10 inches to each fly there. What a fun day and learned a ton from Happy Naguyan. He's the owner of Good Water Fly Fishing. We spent the day here on Puta Creek and in really technical waters, and he knows a lot about th these waters and a lot of technical information, as you saw from that video. He also has a drift boat that he guides on the Sacramento River, the Feather River, and the American River. Let, you, let us know, and we'll put you in touch. We'll see you right here next time on the Backcast.